Hello everybody, my name is Barry and welcome to this video of the second hand Roland FA08 uh, synthesizer. A fully 88 key uh, instrument with ivory key action escapement and uh, well what can I say? Um, I'm familiar with the FA series, they do a 6 or 7 and obviously the 8 being 88 keys. But I've always been very, very impressed with the value for money. If you want a synthesizer that has loads of patches already built in, and this has 2,000 or over 2,000 from Integra 7, um, the XV5080 supernatural sound engine from the pianos and so on and so forth, it's, it's amazing. Not a particularly heavy instrument either. This is an 88 key and I can move it around pretty easily. Um, we've got a, a full colour LCD backlit screen in the middle. It tells you everything that you need to know about what's going on in the instrument. But the thing that blows me away with this is that it does everything. It's got some controls there for your usual filter controls and so on and so forth. But patch wise, it's absolutely incredible. JP series. Uh, Juno, Overheim, there's all sorts in there. Uh, well, it's 2,000 sounds, it will be. But not only that, if you go onto the Roland Axial website, uh, which I did, there's all the sound sets that you can download free of charge. There's loads on there um, to cover uh, things like your orchestral, pianos, synthesizers. And I downloaded the synthesizer one in here because I like the sound of the old synths. Um, and yeah, I mean, let's just get on with it and I'll have a noodle around and just see what you think. I've not rehearsed this, so there's every possibility that it might go completely wrong. But hey-ho, that's show business, as they say. <laughs> so let's start off. You, you're basically stood with me here, aren't you? So let's have a listen to the first sound. <laughs> some buttons here just below the screen category select buttons uh, all we need to do is just pick a category I'm not going to go through all of them infrared is it light sensor detects how far away your hand is away from it and you can change what it does so you can change it between as I've done a sign wall which is changing the cutoff sorry I'm just moving my sustain pedal the sustain uh, the cutoff sorry um, there's loads of settings but you can set it to do what you want I've got it to do cutoff um, and that's what I'm doing here so when I select a voice uh, cue random sound that I don't know how or whatever <laughs> So it's basically changing the cutoff the closer that I move my hand to it. You can set the uh, constraint limits and things like that. So that's what I'm doing. There. Which is really good. Uh, what else can we do? Uh, we've got a preview button. We can preview all of the sounds like that just by pressing the preview button. Uh, sampler on the right hand side, you can sample sounds into the instrument, keep them in these pads and just play them in real time which is pretty cool. Um, we've also got, now here we go, a sequencer. The sequencer is a 16 track, the probably easiest to use sequencer that you will ever find in your life. I mean, it really is. Let me just try and show you now. 
So I'll go, uh, let's pick a sound. So you ad lib, ad lib. Uh, we'll pick, oh look, D50. Up to D50, it's great. Collectible things now as well, aren't they? So we'll go into the sequencer. So that easy, press the sequencer button. Uh, we've got the tempo select there, and I'll press record. I don't actually know what I'm going to do yet, but we'll work it out as we go along. And now I can select to measure. I'll slow it down a bit because I'm not that fast. That's that first track down, it's done. It's dead easy, that's all I had to do. And you saw it in real time. Uh, down arrow, we'll pick the next track. Uh, what should we have for the next track? I don't know what we'll have for the next track. We'll have um, a grand piano. You hear that? Yeah, grand piano. So we'll do the same thing again, record. Uh, start with a one beat measure. just keep going 16 tracks built in and it's not it well it doesn't seem to be losing any effect from what I can hear and that's brilliant in the old days with the old M1s and things you used to have to set up all your send and your return and all that it was very complicated well I found it was complicated um, and that's that now what else can we do um, we'll switch the sequencer off oh the sound you can load the sounds in the axial sound library it's a Roland axial dot I don't know, I'm just saying that. Type Roland Actual and you'll find it. And you can basically go in, uh, say OK at the bottom that you accept the term, download, put it on a USB stick, put it in the back there, and then load it in. The instructions are in the actual zip file. I've got these sticks in my pocket there. And um, yeah, you can load in additional sound. So um, I'll show you some of the sound now, um, like this. So we go into pads. At the bottom, we've got the expansion voice set. I'll leave this voice set in here for whoever wants to buy this instrument, um, and then at least you've got something to be going on with. But um, as you move through, you've got the different voices. Hey, these is the 50s. <laughs> it really we can go through categories pick the sound that you want bang it into the sequencer like that and away you go uh, condition wise it's fair it's got some marks on it these this finish here it's uh, it's easy to mark uh, it's a shiny finish it's plastic and it's quite easy to mark so there are some marks on it that you can see all across the top there but the main thing is it works, and it works really, really well. And as a synthesizer, if, you, if you're new to synth, you just want something to bang your ideas in there, this is the one for you. Honestly, it is absolutely brilliant. I want it. I'm not allowed to have it. I've been told that we've got far too much stuff. So it's down to you guys. So hopefully you like this, hopefully, short video. Um, my name's Barry at Rimmers Music in Blackpool with this, the Roland FA08, which you uh, can find on our website. Link will be in the description below. And until next time, well, got a bank holiday coming again, the Jubilee. So hopefully, bunting's out. You won't sadly have your FA08 yet because they can't ship it fast enough to you. But hopefully you will enjoy the weekend. So until next time, I will see you soon. Bye-bye.